What does it mean to experience and operate from that place of cosmic oneness that we hear so much about in spiritual and religious materials? That ultimate point of observation to your subjective portion of all that is, which resides at that quantum level of self, the very core of existence connecting everything vibrationally to its more denser manifestations. That space of potent infinite probabilities beyond the land of idea constructs and even our human biochemistry processes, with more hopeful and abundant timeline track alignments to your true future's highest destiny. I believe that choosing the path of awakening is more of a deconstructive process, well maybe to begin with at least, but not without your inner support guiding you through it. You just have to align to that inner hermetic lantern that even though it's at its dimmest during a dark night of the soul, will still remind you that there's no way to avoid a life lesson, but there's a way through it with compassionately soul-centered oversight. I believe we should have a living philosophy behind everything we do, otherwise we probably end up being slaves to our unconsciously developed mind patterns. It's alright to know about the forces that are trying to keep us in Nodiland, but to know and be awake to our own power as a sovereign being, at one with Source, is as equally if not more important. But a lot of our social programming may have come from the dark wizards behind this false matrix through the media and such. So knowing the energy game at play within and without is essential to moving forward with a truly transcendent lightness of being. But what we didn't realise as our golden soul travelling selves was that we were already born into troubled waters a psychic minefield so to speak, a battle for ideological supremacy was already underway and we were caught up in the middle of it, epigenetics. Not connecting with one another through our prejudice free heart spaces but under an institutionalised banner, an ism of sorts, keeping our minds divided, looking at each other and especially strangers, the other, with suspicious discrimination and contempt all based on not being in sync with our holistic instincts because we reside predominantly in our own heads, filtering life with generalizing preconceived ideas and closed-minded assumptions. Fear of not wanting to rock the boat of our comfort zones for greater change due to operating at that level of the survival-based ego and to thrive in this hidden hierarchical class system structure you need to climb the ladder of status, compromising an authentic expression of yourself for popularity and officialdom notoriety. So who's trying to lasso you into a school of thought that isn't about the evolution of consciousness for humanity as a whole, hmm? All we really need to do is keep our human avatar interface clean and synchronized to the naturally regenerative ascension side to life. That intuitive sense of an innate draw towards a synergistic harmony of all aspects within a holistic unifying field of divine intelligence, emanating from our own electromagnetic heart center point, which connects all on this ethereal web of life. <laughs> 